Hey NJ babes, if you're here, you probably want to know the process of selling your car or you're thinking about selling your car. So I sold my car with Algo, as you see on the thumbnail, and it was a very quick process. I think that selling your car privately can be tedious and it's a lot of paperwork. So I personally didn't want that. So I chose to go with Algo because Carvana and another place we buy cars fast they quoted me less so i chose to go with algo because they quoted me the most they quoted me seventeen thousand and five hundred dollars and by the kelly blue book my truck was only worth about fifteen five hundred but i definitely wanted to make money on top of that i owed less than that so i ended up getting a nice return so i was excited to do that and if you are not in a rush to sell your car and you don't really need to sell it for me i personally didn't really need to sell it pandemic has me home so i'm home like a lot a lot a lot doing homeschooling and everything and my truck is here a lot a lot a lot and then my husband has his car and like between the two of us we don't really need to use it that much so i was like you know what why not save on the car note and the car insurance and let's sell it because i'll be home for a while so i chose to do that and you know increase my income and more than likely i'll probably just end up saving this money for my new car when we do need it because right now we really 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 don't and i could see myself pressing that for a couple years you never know but um so i was like all right i'm gonna do it i'm gonna call and see and originally algo had offered me seventeen thousand, and i was like nah i mean i don't really want to sell my car I do kind of want to sell my car, but let me show you guys the reason why I wanted to sell my car. So I was parked, right? I don't know, but while I was going to pick up food, which I should have got delivered, I don't know what made me go get it. So then I thought maybe this is the inevitable. Maybe I was supposed to sell my car. It's inevitable. So I went and someone hit me in the back, but while I was in the store. And I personally think that I don't think anybody would just wait, not knowing when you would come out of the store to try and, you know, see if you will come out. So I guess it's kind of like bittersweet. I want to say they weren't a cold person. It's a possibility that they were cold. But anyways, this is... is what happened to my car. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, a $500 deductible for this. So it was like either come out your pockets or get paid. And I'm like, and I'm not even driving this like that. So I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm just going to get paid. But then I'm like, but I can get it fixed. So whatever. I was indecisive. But I decided to call around and see how much I could get for my truck. And then when they called me back the next day and was like, all right, we'll give you $17,500. I was like, all right, you know, because... I drive my husband's car, so I'm like, whatever. So I'm like, all right, I'll take it. Because at the end of the day, I didn't really need it, but I want it. So I also recommend do not be eager to sell because the more eager you are to sell, the more chances are that they will lowball you. Um, I got a nice return, so I'm not mad at that. And again, like I said, I'll probably be saving it for when I do want to, you know, take on the car note or get back into the field and be out the house or whatever and stuff like that. But for right now, we don't need it. As a matter of fact, we could buy a used car straight out, but I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so selling your car fast, again, call up Algo. Um, that's where I called. Or matter of fact, shop around. Call Algo, call Carvana. We buy cars. See who's going to give you the best price. Do not be eager to sell your car because, you know, then they'll kind of like play with you because I was not eager. So I feel like that's why they offered the extra 500. Not to mention that I had a Jeep Grand Cherokee 2016 and I think they made a nice profit. I think that they could definitely sell mine for probably about 2022. That's why they were, you know, but again, I didn't even owe what the blue book was. So I mean, we both won. I know they both want to win in the situation, but I know they won because I only have 54,000 miles on my Jeep too. So yeah, don't be eager to sell, shop around and see what's best for you. The process was really quick. Algo did a FaceTime call with me to see the vehicle. So I literally just walked around my car and showed them, you know, the damage and everything. And for me to get that amount with the damage on the bumper, I know they made a killing off my vehicle. Mm -hmm. 2022, 20, something like that. But um, yeah, so shop around see what it's like the process took maybe seven days all together i did not leave my house to sell my car i was nervous i was like this could be a ripoff what the hell but it was 100 percent legit my agent was available to me 24 7 they answered the calls 24 7 like they just like 
they were really, really good for me. So Algo definitely was a way to go and it was definitely quick. I want to say the whole process was seven days. So if you're trying to sell your car, I'm telling you to shop around, call around, do not be eager and name your price and do not be eager to sell because if you're eager to sell, it could not work out in your favor. And maybe you need to go privately. I just personally didn't want any of the paperwork. Algo paid off the um, car title. They... Um, contacted my bank they did all of those things and then I got a paper from my bank and I got a paper um and then I got an email from them you know saying everything was finalized so yeah it was a quick and easy process and everybody wins in the situation so let me know if you choose to sell your car and let me know if you choose Algo all right thanks for watching